the Tokyo 2021 Olympics, an event supposed to be held last year but due to minor inconveniences and all the controversy regarding the perfect time to reschedule the Olympics, Japan doubled down this year and said, screw it, we're going all in baby, we're doing it this year. As we're midway into the Olympics, so far the whole event up to this point hasn't been the world-renowned event we're used to hearing about, but rather, it's just been one big meme. I have never seen so much free fuel being thrown into the fire that is the internet. You have people from different backgrounds from very athletic capabilities coming together and are representing their country in what's known as probably the most prestigious athletic event in all of human history, only to have their spotlight taken away by the damn cameraman deciding to show millions of viewers a cockroach. This isn't Japan's first rodeo hosting the Summer Olympics, as the last one dated all the way back to 1964, during a time when anime and otaku culture looked something like this. Japanese shows and more like Japanese culture as a whole was still primarily exclusive to Japan, as it never reached Western showers to captivate a predominant Western audience. It also wasn't the biggest thing yet, as otaku culture was still fairly new in 1964. Now let's go back to 2021. Yeah, I, uh, I think anime kind of blew up. 1964 was a time when formalities and professionalism ruled the world. Looking back at old footage from the 1964 Tokyo Olympics, and man, it really showed. One would assume that Japan would still maintain this kind of formal structure in 2021's Tokyo Olympics, right? Hello? Wait, they're playing the Attack on Titan opening in the Olympics? Are you kidding me? Otaku culture has exploded to a point where anime music is being casually played in the Olympics. Not just anime music, but music from various popular RPGs are also being used so nonchalant you think they did this one on purpose. In which, yes. They absolutely did. To the average Olympic viewer, they won't think of it as much. They're playing anime music, I don't know what that is, and quite frankly, I do not care, brother. brother. But to us anime fans, we're like, wait, you can play Attack on Titan in the Olympics? I thought that was illegal. Going into these comment sections, they're all celebrating like they protected the town or something. I found that really wholesome, to be honest. Attack on Titan, Haikyuu, Free, this one was just a lie, the ending is just a banger. And various other songs were being used here in Tokyo, but what I found really cool is that all forms of modern Japanese culture is practically hijacking the Olympics, and at this point with all the amount of anime references they're using, I think we're witnessing the very first real life anime tournament arc. If you guys want my honest take on this, in a cosmic sense, I don't know, it just feels right. I mean come on, sports event plus sports anime music, it's pretty much a match made in heaven. When you watch any type of sport anime or really good shonen, as you watch it, you start to feel inspired. You get highly motivated to the point where you want to take a jog outside, lift some weights, or if that's too much, maybe just go outside. If you are not too much into sports, you have sports anime to fill in the gaps, and help provide you with important information like how the mechanics of the sport works, or how to be a team player, or the proper clothes to wear. In the summer of 2018, I watched all of Free. Three years later, while watching the Tokyo Olympics, I couldn't help but scream at my TV because I know the difference between a butterfly and a backstroke. And don't let the memes distract you from the amount of sports they have in this year's lineup. They have your traditional athletics, such as swimming and tennis, and for the weird sports, you also have aggressive, loud badminton, gun shooting for all the Americans out there, and... I'm not sure what this is, but I kinda dig it. As the Tokyo Olympics are still going strong, while the casuals watch the Olympics to enjoy some fine sports, us culture people will stay here for the anime references. My name is Anormi, signing off.